Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we have been working the last couple of days, although we've kind of taken it a little bit easier than than we have lately. So, i um, just going to walk you down here and show you what the guys have been up to. Got all the lights in there wired while I trip over a ladder. A fan down here blowing in the corner and those outlets are already plugged in and working. And there's the furnace that we had installed the other day. But I think we'll just creep around out here outside show you what they've been up to. There are working lights on the back porch. There's the three on the left side of the door and three down here on the right side. Very nice, bright, pretty white LED lights. But, and the dirt pile is a little bit less because I did a whole lot of planting today. But I've already made some clips of everything I've been busy out there doing and I told you earlier that um, Mark had this all ready for me and um, I don't have all of it planted yet but these first eight rows are the Indian corn and they come up to this marker I put in here yeah it's kind of silly it's one of my old metal um, flower decorations and that whole row there is big beautiful sunflowers and then we've got three rows here are jade beans all the way out there to the end and these three rows here are the rock door beans I hope I said it right and the last three um, I haven't finished and it's getting kind of kind of late in the day and over there on the edge on the very far edge of the garden I'm going to put um, some uh, watermelon and acorn squash and stuff that can vine up all the way to the fence over there and it can have that whole strip of grass but there's lights on the shop and everybody's really excited so Okay, a um, little update over the last couple of days. This bed here is planted in squash. And that's Chubb's bed. And um, I got all of my beautiful pepper plants planted this morning. And they're all in here and all nice and happy. And the peas are still going crazy. The garlic is doing really well. But all of these peppers here are the bell peppers. And there's about any color that you could want. And come over here to the bucket garden a little bit. Yeah, I took video of these guys just two days ago. You can see how big they've gotten. But those are the three sisters. And there's the first squash up in that bucket. And all the little corn and beans are up. And I think just about everybody's up in that one. And there's the rock door beans. And the jade beans. Got more little okras up in here. And we've got squash up in this one. That's the zephyr that's up in that one. All four of them are up in that one. And that one. And that one. Except that that little guy right there, I think he got chewed off by a bird. I might have to replant that one maybe. And come into the carrots. You can see all the fine little carrots in the bucket. This one too. And we'll come around the corner 
There's the pepper and the big tomato and the little tomato and the crazy hairy potatoes that have now gone from having just a cute little green leaf to completely leafed out. Yeah, when they take a mind to go ahead and, and grow, they, they go crazy. Look over here. Here's the other peas. And that right there is about top of my head. Now, they are up in a garden box. But that's still really tall for a pea plant. But... We'll walk down here and look at the garlic, onions. And I got this bed planted today too. Um, if I remember right, this is where I put the zucchini and I put the yellow squash at the other end of the garden in the first box that I showed you. But one thing kind of cool about the zucchini that I planted this year is that we planted a variety of yellow zucchini so that ought to be a whole lot of fun but not really much else going on over here um so i'm gonna go find something else to talk about okay so i'm gonna try to not blind everybody the sun is out and bright and it's about 85 degrees today but that is the big corn garden and Mark has been diligently working trying to get it all really killed up and nice and soft. And I think he was going to go one more tractor tire through there. But I'm not really sure. But that dirt's all nice and ground up. And just about ready for the sweet corn. Okay, just going to take one nice long overview of all the pretty green stuff in the big raised bed garden because I want to show you something else. Take a little walk over here. This is the garden out behind the shop. There's the shop. And there are 18 rows already put in there. And um, that big scruffy tree right there is actually one of my favorite trees. And you can see just how much of that garden is already shaded. But I plan to um, get in here and get all 18 of these rows planted tonight. It's about 530. So it won't be very long if you can let that get a little bit more shade on it. Let it cool down just a little bit more, and um, I'll be at that. Okay, Mark has done more prep work on this corn garden, and um, he's got fertilizer down in there. And um, I believe, if I get this right, he was planning to come through and grade it up um, one more time and put another set of tractor tires in there so I have mounded rows. But probably going to go ahead and let you go from here. Um, we have slowed down a bit and everybody's feeling better. But it still has been a long day and everybody's been really busy. Um, it's almost 8 o'clock. And uh, it's just time to be done. I'm getting awful tired. And I know Mark's tired too. So um, we'll just go ahead and end it here. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Um, don't forget to ring that little bell. It will let you know when we have new videos out. And um, if you liked today's video, as silly as it was, um, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave any comments or questions or anything you have on your mind in the little box below. And I'm um, just going to look up here at wonderful Tennessee sunset. Um, it's not quite all the way down, but it's getting there, and we are expecting about an 80% chance of rain tomorrow. You can see there's 
some gray clouds rolling in here. But I'm going to do my best to get finished um, in the other garden. And I know that um, the boys had a little bit planned that they wanted to do. So maybe tomorrow I'll be finishing that up. If it's not raining and if it's raining, I have some canning that I would like to do. But beautiful Tennessee evening. And uh, I'm really tired. So I'm going to go on ahead and get out of here. But don't forget, we love y'all. And we'll see you in the next one.